Hi, and welcome to a new Let's Play. Today it is going to be Metal Gear on the original NES. And um, I really wanted to do this. I was able to pick up an original NES and uh, the game Metal Gear at a local pawn shop. So um, I'm really excited. We'll see how this goes. I don't remember everything. I know about the. Let's see, I've beaten the game once. Um, I pretty much remember the first half of the game. And the second half, I have no memory or recollection, really, to be honest. So, but we'll see how this goes. Uh, first thing is, is the title screen. It's literally like three seconds long. That's the title screen, then it goes to like demo play. So, like, uh, let's see. Here we go. And. Oh, no, I guess once you. Oh, no, there it goes. Incredibly short. Anyways, we'll go ahead and start. And we'll see where this goes. I'm very excited about playing this because this is one of my favorite games. I played it when it actually came out, which was either 1989 or 1990. And, uh. Big Boss speaking Operation Intrude N313. You are to infiltrate the enemy fortress, Outer Heaven, then destroy their final weapon, Metal Gear. First, attempt to contact missing our Gray Fox, then try to find the Metal Gear. Use frequency, frequency 1285 for all communications with me. Over. Oops. Alright, anyway, I remember playing this as a kid. And uh, me and my brother and my dad got like hardcore to this, but we couldn't get very far. I'm getting sleepy. We couldn't get very far, and uh, yeah, you, you punch them and they disappear. <laughs> and there's patterns you like that. Easy way to avoid that. This. Let's go up behind the dog. And right now I have absolutely nothing. And now there are some things about this game that are like, okay, see, I kill him, I go in here, which I apparently morphed into a smurf or something. I have located binoculars. English is not very good in this game, but I've, apparently I get incredibly small to get into these. Once you get, but once you go out, the guy is back. <laughs> And I'm looking at, look at the size of that. Oh, no! Uh, let's see, the binoculars. I guess they just kind of let you... Uh, oops. Let you see. Yeah, like you can see the next screen. The screens are around you. That guy is back. See, there's like... Sorry, I'm trying to remember the buttons. <laughs> I already died. Can't believe that. That's crazy. I kill him using binoculars, and then he comes back. That's alright. So, we'll go ahead. We already got the binoculars. That's the one good thing about this, is that when you collect an item, you don't have to recollect it. I feel asleep. <laughs> I think he meant I fell asleep. But anyways, uh, like I said, me and my brother and my dad played this a lot, and once we get to the part where we always got stuck at, I'll let you know, but, um, oh, that was stupid, I don't know why I did that. You can actually sneak up on both of those guys and kill them. Here's something interesting. <laughs> Go that way. Up oh, goes all the way back around. And there's actually kind of a, a couple different places that are like that. Let's see here. All right. So now we have to. What you want to do is you want to get in this first truck. There you go. And you pick up these plates. I have located card number one. And you want to pick up, there's actually quite a few of them in this game. And uh, you have to, you need to collect them. These happen to come back. 
Come back up. Go all the way over here. Remember, we used to have a lot of trouble with this for some reason. Uh oh, the truck have started to move. I know English is fantastic in this game, but anyways, um, the good thing is, is if you don't get that card and you get in this truck first, you can go back into it and um, you can go back into it and okay, your turn. See, I want to get in that truck over there, so you just you gotta. Just like that, and go across the screen like that. Uh oh, the truck has started to move. You can get back in the truck, and it'll take you back, so you can get that um, that card. All right, let's see. They're calling me. We'll see what they have to say. I don't remember what frequency he told me. So, uh, wait, was it? 1228? Well, I don't remember. Don't matter. And, uh. I'm trying to remember where to go. Uh. Not down that way. Uh, I'm not gonna call you. Uh, I don't, actually, I don't think that was the right track. Uh oh. Track is started. So there are some things that I get confused about. I don't quite remember. Oh, yeah, that was the right track. Okay. So we can go up this way. All there is is a big tank. Can't get anywhere with that. Go this way. Uh, it's actually a maze. So if I go down here, I come up the top. And there's actually a way you can get through it, uh, but it's kind of pointless right now. And really, there's no point in going that way. Be honest. Let's see here. Oh, and one of the things is if you go back in this truck, I didn't do this, obviously. If you go back in this truck, there's health. Or rations. I have located rations. Sorry, I should have let you see that. Or rations or whatever. I've located some rations, rations, whatever you want to call it, however it's pronounced. And as you can see, it says my rank down there is one star. Um, when I'm one star, you can only hold up to three, three health. So I went ahead and got three of them. We'll go ahead and go down. All right, now I gotta remember which truck it is that we need to go in. I think we can go in the first one. Yes. Ah. Let's go collect some more. I don't know. I have located some classic explosive, which you will need for sure. Not right now. They're kind of pointless. Oh, it's the right one. Oh, wrong one. I should have known. Boy, we are not getting anywhere. We're already eight and a half minutes into this. We haven't got anywhere. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I remember. I don't know if I just when you. Oh man. Oh man. I died. Anyways, we always had a hard time trying to get to that that uh, this truck for some reason. Oh, we died all the time. I don't know why. So, all right. So we're gonna go back. I honestly don't remember what's in the other trucks. I know sometimes you enter trucks and there's actually enemies in there. So I don't remember what's in the other trucks. So I'm not going to risk it for fear of entering the wrong truck. But uh, I need to go to that. I need to go back. So let's see. Oops. We're going to go ahead and use some health since uh, we're right here there's more and always make sure you get off of it because you can accidentally use it so all right, going on going on 10 minutes oh man 
I wanted to at least be able to get into some, get the, the gun. So we go into this one. Here we go. This is what I needed. Card three, isn't it? Card number four. All right. So and okay, so this is the kind of annoying part of the game is there's these doors and most of them take cards. They all take cards to open, and so and this, you have to actually you actually have to uh, equip the correct card. And there's like eight cards, I think. There you go. Card four gets you in there. Card one obviously didn't work. Ah! All right, uh, there's actually a trap right there, there's a big hole. This is an elevator, kind of looks like an old stove. That's what I always thought it was, I thought it was like a stove, you got to a stove. All right, uh, I'm hoping to kind of be able to find the gun before I go anywhere else. The R is the roof, which we can't do anything up there, but I'll show you that in the next video. Um, yeah, those are cameras. If you can't tell. I have to do is exit the screen. And the card... Oops. keep hitting the wrong button. Card four doesn't work on that door, so we're gonna try card one. Which also doesn't work. Oh, oh, all right. We gotta get out of here. I have, I'm not gonna be able to kill all of them. <laughs> oh man. I might end up dying! I might end up dying! Oh no! Oh, there we go. The whole time I could have gone that way. Oh! Alright, well at least you get to see where we get the, uh, the gun. I have located a handgun with zero bullets. So uh, I don't know if I can go back in and get ammunition. Nope. We gotta find some ammunition. So, yeah, don't go in that one. <laughs> and I got some mines. I have located landmines. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and end the video here. We kinda got to where I wanted to go. And well, next video we'll try to progress a little bit further. Sorry, that wasn't too far, really. And um, we'll try to progress this a little bit further and get some ammunition, kind of show you around the uh, the area that we're in. And we will become really familiar because I'm sure I will be <laughs> backtracking all over the place because I don't have everything memorized, even though I kind of know what I need to get done. So yeah, until next time.